I've never seen VR done um, at all, but yeah, it was pretty cool to like look at how, you know, oh, you can see this part of the track from this area, like when you're going through this turn and such. I was just trying to see what it would look like from a rider's standpoint while I was in VR, what those elements that we added looked like. Might have disorientated me a little bit <laughs> and yes, it messed with my verbal skills because I'm still dizzy right now. It was disorienting but fun. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. I liked seeing all of our like meticulous placement of little things. When this class started, it was a paper and pencil course where we were doing kind of hardcore kinetics, kinematics, etc. using hand calculations, and we still do a lot of that. But we've really progressed to take advantage of some of the technologies that are coming out, and that includes software packages, essentially CAD packages, if you would. They're specifically designed for roller coasters, used in industry, and our students can approach and use them here. Uh, and then more recently, we've taken advantage of things like virtual reality, so students can actually prototype their designs in the CAD package, and then hop on the rides in a virtual reality environment. To, to actually see what the look and feel would actually be like, make small design changes based on their, their own feedback and perception of what they're seeing. So obviously we can't build full-scale rides at the cost of millions of dollars here on campus, but what we can do is build them in a virtual environment and really work out the kinks and make the best rides we possibly can. Like anything we design as practicing engineers, you know, you gotta have form and functionality. And I think, you know, we often underemphasize some of the, you know, the marketing aspects, some of the, the product design aspects. And I think this is a great opportunity to talk about something that vast majority of the students have experienced and think about how they would present their own ideas, wrap their own ideas, and still have very strong underlying fundamentals, but really leverage the creativity that many of these students have. I really want to be an Imagineer for Disney, but that's, you know, like a crazy goal that is almost impossible to do, but it would be a lot of fun. And it definitely it's a good way to kind of look behind the scenes of rides and such, because, you know, you always see like the front of it and it's cool to think about how like it's made. <laughs> This was something that enough students seemed to have an interest in, that'd be a fun way to teach uh, you know, core concepts, but do it from an application's first perspective. And in some sense, it allowed us, I think, to take off the limits of what we would normally cover in that course uh, and, and do a lot more complex things. And, and I think back, and you know, the vast majority of those students did one of two things. They either went on to graduate school or they went on to work in the theme park industry. Looking back as an instructor, I don't think there's much more you could ask for than people that really took the opportunity they had in this class and look, used it to extend their opportunity to learn or to really take their skills and apply it in the field.